Hello, my sunshiny Sagis. How are you going? Good. I hope so. This is your general reading for July. Let's go. Grow. Uh, I hope you're all doing well. If you're returning to the channel, thank you. Welcome back. And if you're new to the channel, hello, welcome in. I hope you will get something from this. Energies flow and take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Uh, it doesn't all have to be for you. Sometimes I just pick up a line or two from a song or a line or two from another reading I'm watching. And that's exactly what I needed to hear at that time. So with that in mind, let's keep going. Okay, at the bottom of the deck we've got the Garden of Venus. Rest and very nice. All things beautiful. Joyful news, inspiration. And it's number 33. And Sky Bridge, possibility for union. There you go. So take some time out. Enjoy what you enjoy. This is very similar to the Scorpio reading. So if you've got Scorpio in your chart, <coughs> you might want to check that out. Um, take time in things that you find beautiful. Um, and that will give you a little spark. Just a little spark with Sagittarian love, a little spark of inspiration. And... When possibilities are endless, and union can be any union. It can be union with yourself, it could be union with uh, an, a, a business, it could be union with a partnership, um, it could be a reunion of some kind. Knight of Swords. It's a truth. That might be your inspiration. Let's see. Let's see, let's see. Six of Wands. Queen of Swords. Four of Pentacles. Nine of Wands. Eight of Wands. So even though, even though you've been, you know, out there doing what you do, being quite um, successful at it, and knowing the truth, knowing your truth and sitting in that, you've been quite successful at that. At the moment, you <coughs> kind of stuck because you're trying to hang on to that. It's like, I don't want to let this go. So I'm just going to hang on to it. But what that's going to do is stop you from moving forward. See this Nine of Wands, it's usually the Wounded Warrior, but this has got the Phoenix in it. And so in order to be the Phoenix, you have to let things die off. Now, just because things are going really well for you doesn't mean they can't get better. So take some rest. Have a rejuvenation because... If you do this, if you let things just do what they're supposed to do and trust, then something's coming in fast, like fast. It's, and it just reminded me of Cupid for some reason. Um, like you're going to get shot in the butt. You've got the Seven of Pentacles, so it's taking some time. You've worked really hard for this, and you've overcome a lot. You've you've overcome naysayers and people putting you down and calling you, saying that this was just a flight of fancy or that what you were doing um, wouldn't amount to anything. Um they might have even kind of disowned you or you might have felt like 
and you chose to do what you're doing and are now successful at, that it was kind of like, we, we don't want you. Um, and that left you kind of wondering what, what it was all about. It's definitely something from your past and you've taken a long time to get over that. You've done really well. Um, and now you're reaping the rewards, really reaping the rewards. Try not to get stuck in this fear. Try not to get stuck in the fear of if I don't hang on to what I'm doing now and if I don't do it really well and if I try something different or let this go or try something else, then I might end up the failure that I was told I would be. Try not to get into that thinking because um, that outdated thinking is what stopped you from achieving um, what you've got now in the first place. So don't go backwards. Stay on track. Stay trusty, trusting yourself because you know which way. You might have a bit of trouble at the moment with um, what's real and what's not and what's solid and what's not. But deep down you know what's solid. You know um, that you've got a lot of stuff. You've got the Four of Cups here, but it's like instead of seeing the new stuff coming your way, you're focused on what you've got, what you've worked hard for, and just all like auto focus on that alone um, because of fear. This is because of fear. Um, this new thing is coming up. It's beautiful. It's, you're going to find a partnership. It could be through work, um, but it'll be something new, and it will be very balanced, so you won't have to worry about this. You won't have to worry about it anymore. You'll be, you'll be, um, you won't be, uh, Taking um, what you've been given from others, you'll be growing your own strength and your own wisdom. Um, and you'll be happy to do this slowly and gradually. You won't cut any corners. You won't take anything for granted. You won't cheat or, or steal or you won't let anybody else do that to you either. And that's going to... That's going to keep you even more um, in your authentic self. And you're going to be much more um, proud of yourself for doing this. That's going to knock down any of the past um, screechy noise or, you know, this whole you're not good enough, you'll never be good enough. You're going to step into a real, um, not egoic, but proud place of who you've grown up to be and how you can now handle and that on rather than hand on what you received. You're going to be, um, you're going to step up a level so that you can then help other people transcend what they've been through. Um, and this is the union that you're going to come to. You're going to come to a union with yourself over the past and you're going to help, um, you're going to come into union with other people so that you can then help them. Um, don't forget the the success you've reached so far and all the work you've done so far. Don't forget that. Um, and don't grip onto it because you don't need to. You've already got it. You've already done it. You've already done the work. You've already got the results. You are living the results. So don't try to grip onto that fear of slipping backwards. That's what will drag you backwards. Just hang on to where you've come from, what you've achieved, 
what you're growing now. And um, and the only person who can drag you back there is you. So don't um, don't listen to it. listen to this, not this. All right, my loves. I hope this helps. And keep going. Keep going in your beautiful selves. Love you lots. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.